Hello, this semester we'll be working on a few projects in InDesign to get a feel of how the software works, to see what all the functions are, or at least the functions we're going to be needing, uh, how they work. So for that, we're going to start remaking some layouts, or at least some adapted layouts from real-world publications. Uh, and this is going to be the first one we're going to be working on. This is the first page from a magazine. It is adapted and it is a bit simplified from the actual publication, uh, but it's a very good exercise for us to get an idea of how to place content on an InDesign page, how to move content, how to resize it, how to add images and text, change te text properties, uh, the stacking order, strokes, fills, and stuff like that and obviously how to create a new document. Before we move on to that, I want us to have a look at this page and think a bit of how it's constructed. It's quite simple, but if you look at it carefully, you can see a bit of a structure. First of all, you have these three repeating boxes at the top with their photos um, that kind of divide the page into three, right, vertically. But then you have other items that don't necessarily fit into that, but would fit in halves. So the overall structure of this document looks something like this, right? You have the masthead at the top, you have the three items, three boxes here at the top again, then you have the main title, the main image, a quote down here, and the barcode. Um, so while this is, like I said, a very simplified view of it, you can split the page up into, into columns for an easier determination or of where the content fits. So we can see that if we split it into six columns, for example, each of these elements here at the top takes up two of those columns. The quote at the bottom takes up five of those columns, the barcode one. Uh, and actually, if you were to go a bit more in detail, you would see that you can split this up further to make the items here at the top fit even better. But we, we won't go into that much detail with this particular project. In further projects, we will take a look at that as well. And in addition to the columns, you can also see that I split up the page here in several rows that again help us lay out the content, help us have a structure and know where everything should fit. So the quote below is one row, the photo is six rows, the title here is another row, and then you have the masthead with these uh, boxes that send you to content inside the magazine um, that occupy three rows altogether. There is some logic to that as well, but again, because this is a simplified exercise, we won't go into all of it and where everything fits. We'll try to get as close to this as possible while looking at how, uh, how this document is created and how InDesign uses its tools and options. So in the next video, we will start creating this document from scratch.